respect from the highest ranked student in the entire freshman class. moment to reflect on the life-changing journey you are about to embark on. <clears throat> the seeds of knowledge that you plant today have the potential to yield a great harvest in years to come. And as the fruits of your labors nourish the body and soul Planting the seeds of collegiate success? Is he serious? I don't know, but I want football games and fun parties. Not boring farm metaphors. I'm with ya! I can last one out of the Jets around Meg! Boutique Mall and a private Luau Beach. Not to mention the cutting edge internet cafe and a seriously convenient mini tram system. <gasps> there it is, girls! West Coast Hall, our new home sweet home. Then our tour is officially over. Uh, better make that tour a detour. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope we make as strong an impression at school as we did on this roof. <laughs> Well, this is it. Super Pod Treat 525. Yahoo! Who wants to go in first? For maximum drama, let's all enter on three. One, two, three! Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Who knew our drama was going to turn out to be a tragedy? That doesn't even begin to describe it. Like, where's the stylish three-person digs we were promised? I don't know, but this place oh. reminds me of the Whoop holding facility. Yeah, only not quite as glamorous. Uh, guys, glamour is the least of what's missing from this place. Where's all my stuff? It's in here, Sam! Hi, I'm Stacy, your new roomie! What? what? You be Sam's roommate. We're her best friends. And, like, we're all supposed to be rooming together. Oh, sorry, but there's a huge housing crunch on campus. So Sam's stuff was put in my room. And from what I've seen, I think we're gonna get along great. You unpacked my things? Yeah, and judging by all the books I found, I'm convinced we have a ton in common. You see, Sam, I'm an academic just like you. <laughs> wow, Sammy. I wish my roommate was that helpful. Oh, please. You'd need about ten helpful roommates to unpack all your stuff, Clover. What do you say I give you a campus tour? I'm a sophomore and I know all the shortcuts and hidden passages. Uh, sounds great, Stacy. but we still have to sign up for classes. I'll catch you later. <laughs> How come I'm the one stuck with the nosy roommate? She's not nosy, Sam. Just eager. Besides, we've gotten out of tight spots before. We can totally handle a temporary housing sitch. And in the meantime, we'll be right across the hall if you need us. <gasps> Check it out! I got the last seat in Psychology 101. It's like the academic version of a dating service. Oh, and I got into intro to basket weaving. I can finally get in touch with my artistic side. And I got into all of my advanced courses, including quantum macro physics. Uh, Sam, doesn't that class start in two minutes? Uh, you're right. students, let's begin with a rudimentary question. What is the name of the attractive force which acts between two close parallel uncharged conducting plates? Uh, Ling. Uh, Ling Yi. Apparently. 
apparently Ms. Gee doesn't get the concept of mandatory attendance. Okay, then, uh, how about uh, Stacy? <gasps> it's called, um, it's called... It's called the Casimir effect, due to quantum vacuum fluctuations of the electromagnetic field. Very good, uh, Samantha. Looks like someone did her homework. Thanks a lot, Sam. You did that just to make me look bad. No, I didn't. I was trying to help. Well, I don't need your help. In fact, I don't ever want to talk to you again. <laughs> the first to wax my board. Welcome to Surfology 101. Today we're going to learn about the anatomy of a wave. So, does this like mean we aren't going in the water? Well, not until we learn the basics. I don't want basics. I want fun, sun, and good times 101. Just like those promised in the Malu course catalog. In that case, why don't you show me an atomic roll into the green room, followed by a nose walk and a triple cutback. Oh, uh, on second thought? The basics sound totally tubular. Chop, chop. You're being graded on this. <laughs> the secret to successful basket weaving students is to become one with your creation. Now close your eyes and let yourself get completely enveloped in your work. Completely enveloped. Got it. Huh? That's a little too enveloped. Oopsie. Phew, college is so exhausting. Maybe I ought to stop by the internet cafe for a brain fueling latte. Oh, somebody help me! Guess my latte will have to wait. <laughs> wearing <gasps> Sammy what are you doing yeah what's with the freaky ninja greeting I was just chasing down a co-ed napping baddie but whoever it was got away and I think Stacy was behind the attack Stacy that's crazy yeah she's like super nice nice like Dr. Jekyll but trust me based on the way she acted today in class she is way more Miss Hyde uh. Look, Sammy, I realize Stacy may not be the ideal roommate, but don't you think your accusations are a bit far-fetched? As in, you may be having difficulty adjusting to new people. I mean, think about it. Anyone could have dropped the scrunchie. In fact, it could be one of mine. <sighs> Fine, don't believe me, but I know there is something strange going on, and I'm gonna figure out exactly what it is. which means it's officially spy time. <laughs> Bingo. A list of Mally U's top five incoming freshmen, starting with Wing B. Hey, that's the missing student from my physics class. Uranium. Okay, that definitely qualifies as strange. Hey, Rumi, how's it going? Fine, I guess. Well, I'm awesome! On account of the A-plus, I just got on my bit lip paper. So, do you want to join me in a celebratory study sesh? Um, maybe later. I was just about to take a shower. Even if Clover and Alex don't believe me, I have to call Jerry. This is getting way weird. Ah! And it just got even weirder. Ah! Great. In addition to having a defective roommate, I also have defective plumbing. Whoa. I knew Stacy 
she was up to something, but I never could have guessed she'd do anything this bizarre. Huh? Wait a second. You're all the students from Stacy's list. <laughs> <laughs> Rich brainwaves and preparing for a transfer of knowledge. I don't know what kind of crazy plan you've cooked up, but you have to turn this machine off and set these students free. Sure, get it. This is my ticket to a perfect GPA. Last year I studied my butt off, but there were too many smart students. So I decided if you can't beat up, join them. Or better yet, make them join you. Or you could just try studying a little bit harder. Why study at all when I have you guys cramming for me? In fact, I have a couple of homework assignments due tomorrow. Time to show me what you know. Feels like an A-plus to me. Thanks for the study sesh, guys. Oh, and save your energy. We have a term paper due on Friday. Save what energy? <laughs> And hello to you, too. Well, she isn't here, so good night. I've got to study. Uh, well, do you know where she is? Probably goofing off like all the other students at Mally who take basket weaving and surfology classes. Oh. <gasps> hey! Those classes are a lot harder than you think! <gasps> hey! Where'd you get that scrunchie? It's mine! Uh <laughs> Rude much? Sam was right about Stacy. She's a total nightmare. I have a really bad feeling about this. We better call Jerry right away. <gasps> Hello, girls. Just checking to see if any of my words of wisdom have guided you in your academic endeavors. Uh, no, Jerry, not even slightly. But if you really want to help, you can whoop us right away. Oh, very well. <laughs> Wisdom, and you still haven't figured out how to soften our whoop landings, Jer. So, what seems to be the problem? Books, speakers, boys? Who has time for boy problems? Sam's missing, and we think her evil roommate has something to do with it. I see. Well, Sam may be missing, but her ex powder isn't. Is that cute little blip on the screen Sammy? Indeed. And it appears she's located in the basement of your dorm. What would Sam be doing in the basement? Probably hiding from that heinous roommate of hers. Whatever Sam's engaged in, it's wreaking havoc on her <laughs> physiological systems. Her brain is functioning at a dangerously slow rate. How can you possibly know that, Jerry? All X powders are equipped with a capacity to monitor the owner's biofunction. Hello? Is there a single aspect of our lives you're not totally trespassing on? Mm, actually, no. <gasps> Come on, Jer. Lay some gadgets on it so we can go help Sam. Huh? <laughs> Whoa! Old school much. What happened to Gladys? Let's just say her bossy ways landed her an extended vacation at the Whoop Recycling Facility. Now, here's the hot and spicy gum, the drill heel boot, and the ultra-fast hardening enamel toenail polish. Ooh! Glittery aqua blue! A classic. Ta-ta! And good luck, spies! Ah! Oh, I swacked my chair again! I think that door leads to the basement! Come on! Wait. We better take a less obvious route. After all, you never know where that loon Stacy might be lurking. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love these boots, but they should really come with a feather duster. <gasps> what is that thing? Oh, it's Sam! Are you okay? Sammy, say something! Now we know what you're meant by slow brain function. We have to get her out of here before it's too late. Uh, yeah. Ow! Sorry, freshman, but I can't let you do that. Figures you're the one behind all this. Why? Because such an elaborate plan involving sophisticated machinery could only be the work of a genius like myself? No, because Sam warned us that you were one seriously wacky chick. <laughs> Weekly facial. Now it's time for us to give you a little treatment. And I don't mean the small kind. <laughs> Not if my mechanical friend has anything to say about it. Uh, uh, how come you brought us over here instead of plugging uh, us into your machine? Uh, Let's just say it's 
pretty obvious that neither of you two can help elevate my GPA. So I decided to drop you from the Malibu roster. All right, we've known you for like less than a day, and that's about the tenth time you've insulted us. It's getting really old. You won't have to worry about it much longer. <laughs> to their prior states, minus the memories of what happened here, of course. Oh, that's a relief. I mean, who ever heard of going to college and getting dumber? So, Sam, now that you're back to being the smarty pants we all know and love, how about helping me with my homework? Uh, no thanks. <coughs> my newly recharged brain cells need a little R&R. &R. It's just as well. No amount of tutoring can keep me from being an embarrassment in surfing class. Oh, tell me about it. I'm known as the basket case of basket weaving. Who knew college was so complicated? Speaking of complicated, we still haven't solved our housing crisis. Well, we better do it fast, because I'm getting claustrophobic just thinking about that tiny dorm room. Kooky roommates and cramped living spaces will no longer be a concern for you girls. I've arranged for the three of you to live together in the penthouse of your dorm. Penthouse? Since when does West Coast Hall have a penthouse? Since the Woo Prop Department built one last night. Come on, let's take a tour, shall we? Check out this killer buff boy watching Ocean View! Oh, this place has everything our beach house had and more! But the best feature is what it doesn't have. Nutso roommates. Yeah! 
So, I take it this living arrangement is to your liking? <laughs> to our liking? More like to our loving? Thanks, dear. You're very welcome. <clears throat> From here, you'll be able to plant the seeds of knowledge. Jerry, no more agricultural advice. Give it a rest. Just leave before we have to call the RA. <laughs> 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 